Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about nose piercings. I just wanted to talk about the pros and cons, as usual, normally that's what I do, but I also wanted to talk about like some recommendations for nose piercings because they are so common and there's a lot of commonly asked questions about them. So we'll start with the pros. As a lot of people probably know, every second person has a nose piercing. A lot of people are tending to wear rings nowadays. They've probably become a little bit more mainstream over the last five years. I know I got mine done probably like 10 years ago. And back then when I had it in high school, people definitely thought it was weird. People definitely thought it was like goth or like an emo thing to do. And like that's totally not what it is. But like it definitely is stronger. I guess you could say in the alternative community. I guess a reason why it is so mainstream is because every second person has a nose ring so it's not weird anymore. You won't get judgement for it just because so many people have it nowadays that it's like pretty common like everyone's got one, it don't even matter. But it isn't painful, it's definitely like a bit of a weird like uncomfortable feeling. Just because your nose is like a sensitive area if it's to get bumped or anything like that your eyes can sort of water and that's what happens. Basically your eyes just water. From the wide majority of people that I pierce, it's not a painful piercing. There is so much jewellery to choose from, there's so many things to suit so many different people. I know a lot of people either tend to go for just like wearing a stud or a ring which is like super common at the moment. However, try and be a little bit different guys, like there's so much jewellery out there. You can get like dangling nose studs which I think are so cool, you can get like the Indian style which are like the big gold ones, um, like really chunky jewellery, which can look so cool, but like people aren't really going to tend to go for that because it's not like what's trending and they'll look weird, but they won't look weird because it's unique and it's beautiful and just do whatever you want, wear whatever jewellery you want. It suits literally everyone. So it's not really a piercing that you're like, mm, that doesn't suit you. Most people can get away with wearing a stud and it will just suit them. A ring not on everyone, definitely not. And some people will put it on themselves and be like, I hate this. Speaking of rings though, for like a recommendation, I wouldn't recommend getting pierced with a ring. Not that like we as piercers physically can't pierce you with a ring. I've done heaps with rings, I've done heaps with studs, but I don't personally really like piercing with a ring just because the way that it heals. Basically, if you get pierced with a ring, you're almost guaranteed to get a pressure bump on it. Like, I can't say that's for sure, not everyone will, but I just see so many rings with bumps on them because they've been pierced with rings. I mean, you can get bumps just from having a nose stud as well, but it's just so much more common with a ring because of that pressure from a hole being pierced straight, like not straight down. It's still pierced at an angle, but it's not pierced curved. So, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain if you're not a piercer, but hopefully that sort of makes sense to you. You're putting curved jewellery in something that should be straight, causing pressure because it's like curving it over. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. It is a good first facial piercing. It's one that a lot of people are pretty, pretty okay with. Like they're pretty good with seeing people with nose piercings because it is quite common. So some workplaces might accept it, some schools might accept it. You're probably more likely to get away with a nose piercing than like say something around your lips and eyebrow, that sort of thing. So it's great to go with for your first one and also because the scarring isn't too bad, you generally will have an indent from it. Most of the time people don't really look at the side of your nose to see scars on them. So yeah. Getting into the cons. I find that with these ones, they can close so, 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 so quickly. Obviously in the healing period is when it's going to close like almost instantaneously but that is a time when people find that it does fall out because they're not used to it there so they're like pushing it out with like whether it's washing their face or like bumping it or something like that and it can fall out and then they can't get it back in. If you pull it out somehow Getting it back in as soon as you can is a really good idea if it's just been healed because it can close so quickly. At the beginning when it's healing, blowing your nose can be a bit of a biatch. It's going to be painful for you to sort of like blow it. It's probably going to irritate the piercing and then cause more problems. A lot of people can have difficulty putting it 
in or taking it out especially with the one you get pierced with generally is a pig's tail nose stud people have so much trouble with these and that's why a lot of piercers just have to put it in for them or take it out for them piercing bumps on nose piercings are like very common a lot of people you ask who have had a nose stud or ring they generally may have had this at some point I've had my nose pierced four times and I only ever had the bump one time and that was when I first had it pierced but that also had a lot to do with the fact that I changed it too early so that was completely my doing but yeah at the beginning it's very prone to getting those bumps so my recommendations One, obviously, is to make sure you're cleaning it. Make sure you're cleaning it twice a day, whether you're doing a saline soak or a saline spray. Making sure you're cleaning it is something that can avoid those bumps. Also, not bumping it is something that you can do to avoid getting those bumps. You also want to start to recognize that you have something on your face. So after you get it, you just have to sort of keep telling yourself that you have a nose piercing now because you know when you're washing your face it can get pulled out then whether you're rubbing your towel on your face it can get pulled out then brushing your hair I don't know something like that people seem to have them fall out constantly and I I don't really understand how I just know that like when I've had nose piercings or any piercings for that matter I just sort of am like I have a piercing now I need to look after this don't just get like jewelry put in your face and then like forget about it because like one you've got to clean it and two if you're accidentally hitting it or like touching it that's where problems are going to happen this one just like drives me insane so like with those piercing bumps some people get them confused with pimples <sighs> oh the amount of people I have come in like old or young and they haven't got any pimples on their face. I've just got a pimple on it, like don't mind that. It's not a freaking pimple, like do some research, learn about your goddamn piercing. That's not a pimple, it's worse than a pimple. Don't squeeze them, do not squeeze them. If you see one like emerge right next to your, like or on top of almost your piercing, get rid of that thing, it's not a pimple, okay? When you're about to get the piercing, I would recommend closing your eyes. Even if you think you're not scared of needles, I find so many people flip out. You may freak out, which like heaps of people do and it just like, it's just really irritating because you're about to do a piercing and then someone's like pulling away from you. It's just like not a fun time. Just like, just don't do it, all right? Just don't. Yeah, just close your eyes, it'll be over in two seconds. And the last thing that I can recommend is just getting used to it being in your line of vision. It may annoy some people at first just because you'll like sort of see this like little, whether it's a little stud or a little ring in your like view, but like it goes away because you just get used to it. It's just something that's there. Like I'm sure I was going to say like a guy with a beard, but like you wouldn't, oh, you probably could see your beard actually. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. So if you're going to get a nose piercing or if you have one already, let me know in the comments down below how it all goes, how it went. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe if you're new here and I'll be back with some more piercing videos before you know it.